Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to learn how to solve linear equations that involve one step. Here we have an equation. We can tell it's an equation because it has an equal sign here. Equations always have an equal sign. We also have this letter x. This represents an unknown value. In order to solve the equation, we try to find the value of this unknown. So our goal is to find the value of x. To do this, we're going to imagine there's a line down the centre of the equation, going right through the equal sign. This splits the equation into two sides. We have the left-hand side and the right-hand side. The important rule to remember is that whatever you do to one side, you must also do to the other side. On the left-hand side, we have two terms. We have the x and we also have plus 3. In order to solve this, we want just x on the left-hand side. This means we need to do something about this plus 3. The inverse, or opposite, of adding 3 is subtracting 3, so we're going to subtract 3 from both the left side and the right side. To do this, we'll draw an equal sign and line it up with the other equal sign, and then subtract 3 from this side, and subtract it from this side. If you subtract it from the left-hand side, that will cancel out the plus 3 that's there. 3 take away 3 is 0, so this just leaves you with x. On the right hand side though, we need to do 7 take away 3, which gives you 4. We've now solved the equation because we found the value of x, x equals 4. There are a few other one step equations you need to be able to solve. Let's look at another one. On the left hand side of this equation we have a subtract 8. The inverse or opposite of subtracting 8 is adding 8, so we're going to add 8 to both sides of the equation. So let's draw the equal sign. Now on the left hand side we've got a subtract 8 and a plus 8, and this will give you 0. So they cancel out and we're just left with x. Then on the right hand side we've got 1 plus 8, which is 9. We've now solved the equation because we found that x is equal to 9. Let's try another one. So for this one on the left hand side we have 4x. This means 4 multiplied by x. So what we're going to do is the opposite or inverse of multiplied by 4, which is divide by 4. So if we divide by 4 on both sides, we draw the equals. Now on the left hand side we have 4x divided by 4, which is just 1x. And on the right hand side we have 12 divided by 4, which is 3. We've now solved this equation. Now there's one more we need to look at and this one is the most difficult. In this one on the left hand side we have x over 2. This means x divide by 2. So we're going to do the inverse or opposite of dividing by 2, which is multiplying by 2, and we'll do this on both sides. So we draw the equal sign, and on the left hand side we have x divide by 2 and then multiply by 2. The divide by 2 and multiply by 2 will cancel out, so we'll just be left with x. And on the right hand side we have 10 multiplied by 2, which is 20. So we've solved this equation. Now I'm going to show you four more examples using these strategies that give you slightly different results. So for this first one we have x plus 7 equals 2. We have a plus 7 on the left hand side here that we need to deal with. To do this we're going to subtract 7 from both sides. So let's draw the equal sign. On the left hand side the 7's will cancel, leaving us with x. And on the right hand side we need to do 2 take away 7. Now 2 take away 7 will give you a negative number, negative 5. So this equation gave us a negative answer. For this equation we've got 6x equals negative 12. To deal with this 6 here, that 6 times x, we're going to divide by 6 on both sides. So we draw the equals. On the left hand side, 6x divided by 6 is just 1x. And on the right hand side, negative 12 divided by 6 is negative 2. So sometimes when we solve equations, we'll also have negative answers. In this next equation, the x is on the right hand side instead. We're still going to use the same strategies though, but we're going to try and deal with this plus 4. To deal with this plus 4, I would subtract 4 from both sides. So let's draw the equal sign. On the left hand side I need to do 10 take away 4 which is 6, and on the right hand side the 4's will cancel, so we have x. So for this one we end up with 6 equals x, which looks like it's the wrong way around. We normally write the x on the left hand side, but we can just switch those around, to give us x equals 6 as the answer. For this final equation we're going to solve 8x equals 2. We're going to need to deal with this multiply 8 here. To deal with this we're going to divide by 8 on both sides, 
On the left hand side, if you divide by 8, you get 1x. But on the right hand side, if you divide by 8, you need to do 2 divided by 8. Now some people may think this is 4, but that's 8 divided by 2. 2 divided by 8 is different. The strategy I would use for this question is to write 2 over 8. Since 2 over 8 just means 2 divided by 8. It's okay to give your answers as fractions, although we probably should simplify this one. We can divide the top and bottom numbers by 2. If you divide 2 by 2 you get 1, and if you divide 8 by 2 you get 4. So the answer to this question is 1 quarter, and not 4. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Check out the one I think you should watch next, subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos, and then go and try the exam questions I've put in the description.